All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a, a series of uh, like player objectives. So <clears throat> things that the player has to do in order to like achieve something, like achieve a goal, right? So um, the first one we're going to start really simple. It's literally going to be um, getting from point A to point B. So you can see I've got two kind of locations here. I've got this kind of tall tree and over there I've got that uh, big round tree. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do if I push play, I start here and I want uh, it to tell me that I've achieved my goal when I get over to the other tree. Okay, um, you can also see some other things I've done. So I've just put on the uh, the widget there, an objective. Um, it's always good to have that as like a an obvious thing for the player to be able to see. So they can see on the left hand side there, make your way over to the big round tree. They know exactly what it is that they need to do at this point in the game. Okay, so how do we complete that objective? Well, it's quite simple. I'm just going to create over here a new blueprint, which is going to be an actor. Um, let's call this, um, I don't know, location. Okay. Um, and remember, we're not building the location that they need to get to here or anything like that. Um, it potentially could be like a doorway or something, but all we actually need, if I go to add, is a collision detection so we'll just use the box collision uh, that's fine i'll make it a bit bigger so it's nice and obvious and that is literally all i need so um we do need to do something in the event graph obviously but for now let us just go over to this location and my location actor i'm just going to put it over here so I'm going to make it a bit larger here as well. So something, um, whatever, something like that would be fine. So when they get up to the tree, they're going to overlap this box and it's going to trigger them saying, uh, it's saying that they've completed the objective. So let's go back to our location actor we just made. This time I'm going to go to the event graph. Um, so we've got some events here by default, which you always get. So we don't need begin play. We don't need event tick. We need this one. Um, actually, no, we'll, we'll start from scratch because I'm going to relate it to this box specifically. So if I click on the box, and that's my collision box, if you remember, it's this guy here. If I right click, add an event for this box. It's a collision event and it's add on begin overlap. So when we start overlapping this box, um, I'm going to cast to the uh, first person character or whatever your character is called. It might be a third person uh, or something else. Um, objective, I'm going to go to other actor. What that's going to do is just link it so that it is only affected by this character. You know, I can't fire a projectile into that zone and it's going to, you know, say that I've achieved it. It will only be when the character enters this area. OK, um, and this then what happens then is kind of up to you um, for this. I'm going to just bring up a widget that says that you've achieved the objective. So in that case, I just need to go create widget. And add to viewport. OK, um, so at the moment I don't have a widget, so we can make one real quick. I can go to user interface here, widget blueprint, and call this uh, win condition, something like that will be fine. Um, I always add a canvas panel so I can see the area which is going to be the screen. And then let's keep it really simple. I'm just going to get test some text where it says uh, you win. Make it a bit larger. You can obviously make this look a lot more fancy. I'm going to anchor it to the center. Put it around the middle, that's fine. Let's maybe change the color off a bit. Um, I don't know, something like that would be fine. All right, but obviously you can change that and make it as whatever you want it to be. Let's compile that. So I can come back to this blueprint, which I was editing, and I can now select here in the class the win condition. So I click compile. 
So yeah, when the player overlaps this box, uh, it's going to add this widget to the screen. Alrighty, so I've already put it into position there, so I just push play. So it says make your way over to the big round tree. Okay, I'll go do that. So you walk through your map, whatever it is that you need to do. When you get to the location that you've been asked to, it comes up to say you win or whatever it is that you need it to do. Okay, notice that the game continues on though. So if you want the game to kind of finish, uh, let's go back to the location here. So you could then, you could technically just set game to paused and tick that box. What that'll do is it will pause the whole game, um, which is probably the most sensible thing to do. Let's walk over again real quick. Okay, so as soon as you get there, it says you win, then the game is obviously paused. Um, if you had a, a win screen, which obviously, you know, consumed the whole screen, then you wouldn't get, you know, the, the paused uh, game going on there in the background. But obviously that's down to you. So yeah, real simple sort of win condition, getting from one point to another. All you need uh, is this, um, sorry, I keep selecting the wrong one there. Let's close those down this location actor that I made, which is literally just a box collision. It's all it is, which you can put wherever you want in your map. And then we've got, um, yeah, when you begin overlapping the box, link it so it's just being affected by the character. It displays the widget, pauses the game. And then obviously I could put this wherever I wanted and whenever my character comes into there, then they have won the game or completed the objective, whatever it is you need it for. Okay.